2020 has been a great year. Everything's fine. And today we're going to review a movie that definitely came out on March 20th, A Quiet Place Part 2. This movie is both a prequel and a sequel. It is bigger, it is bolder, it is louder, but with diminishing returns. Here are some of the things I didn't like about the movie. I thought it was very unrealistic. The idea that this kind of global catastrophe takes place and the governments don't have control or enough medical equipment just didn't make a lot of sense. Also, there were scenes where people were hoarding and fighting over toilet paper. I understand you need some comic relief in a movie, but I just thought it was out of place and again, unrealistic. Killian Murphy is in this movie. He plays a new character, somebody who's been in self-isolation for a long time. While he is a great actor, I found it hard to relate to him and this idea of being in quarantine and just being isolated. Just, I couldn't, I just, I just couldn't relate. All the actors do an excellent job. The family dynamic is touching. John Krasinski is a masterful director. John, if you're listening, some good news. You are an excellent director. Um, not that John's listening. He has better things to do than be on YouTube. Uh, the best part of this movie were some of the set pieces. They were scary. I was in the cinema, clutching my seats, holding on to my friends. I had my hand on my face the entire time, just covering my mouth you know, my eyes, my ears, just, just touching my face. And really that's what you want from this kind of movie. I think it's a great community experience. The kind of movie you just wanna get all your friends, all your family, get together in a huge group and go have a great time in a packed cinema. I can't wait to see some of the new movies coming out in 2020. What an amazing year, everything's fine.